Hello friends, this is Sajeev Nair. Welcome to this biohack series. During this time of lockdown, I thought of sharing with you some ideas by which you can maintain your health and also stay fit because this is something which you can do right now. I have been telling everyone that this is a period when you are locked down, this is a period where you can actually have an option to create a better version of yourself. We all know that, you know, mobiles, they change the version, software change the version. We seldom change our version. We are the same all the time. Now you've got about 20 days or 21 days, whatever time you have. This is an opportunity to create a better version of yourself. And I'm going to give you one biohack technique by which you can create a better version of yourself, which is called intermittent fasting. I'm sure some of you must be hearing about intermittent fasting for the past uh, few months or past few years. I'm going to share with you some practical ways to implement intermittent fasting. So before we do anything, we always ask the question, what is in it for me? Why should I do it? Let me share my experience with you. I started doing intermittent fasting, I think almost about six to nine months back. And I have been enjoying, I have seen a massive difference in my personal life and professional life once I started practicing intermittent fasting. Now, what are the benefits? Your energy level shoots up, your body maintains a better shape, you can lose weight, your cognition improves, means you become more alert, your concentration level goes up, your memory becomes go high. So what else you require after doing a kind of this kind of a practice? Let us understand what happens, what's the science behind intermittent fasting. You all must have heard about fasting definitely. And you think that fasting means, you know, for a full day I'm not eating anything. Even I have seen that some people have got very, very interesting ideas about fasting. Like they eat something during that time. They avoid certain things and they think that that is fasting. So understand what is the science behind it. We've got about 36 trillion cells in our body and each of the cell contains about 1000 plus mitochondria and this mitochondria are nothing but energy producing centers. To produce energy, it requires fuel. There are three types of fuel. One is called glucose, second is called amino acids, third is called ketones. And all these three, your body has to extract from the food you eat. Your glucose comes from carbohydrate and sugar. Your amino acids come from protein. Your ketones come from fat. So when you are eating a food, definitely the major chunk, major portion is carbohydrate. So you are always supplied with plenty of glucose. As a result, what happens is that you get enough supply of glucose and of course, the mitochondria allows to use glucose as the primary fuel because it is very easy to burn. It's like kerosene. The moment you put some kerosene into fire, what happens? It flares up. So same thing happens with glucose. So mitochondria always allows to use glucose as a fuel because it is very easy to burn. The way the glucose functions in your body is when you consume any carbohydrate, the glucose gets distributed throughout your cells. and which is being used for generating energy. After the immediate distribution, whatever is left over is being stored in the liver and also in your muscles as glycogen. And then the liver and the muscles will convert that glycogen into glucose and slowly release to the cell so that it can produce energy. This is called glycolysis. And generally, if you have taken some food, almost for eight hours, this glycolysis or the glycogen release happens. Glycogen getting converted to glucose happens. That means if you have taken dinner tonight, for eight hours, your liver has got the capacity to supply glucose continuously to your cells to produce energy. Your cells require fuel all the time because a lot of biochemical reactions are happening even when you are sleeping a lot of actions are happening inside your body now what is intermittent fasting the purpose of intermittent fasting is moving your body running on glucose to running on ketones you know you must have heard this word ketone because now nowadays keto diet is quite common i'm not going to talk about keto diet and i can tell you very clearly that keto diet is not something which can be prescribed to everybody this is completely different what we are talking about now let us see how practically we can do intermittent fasting say tonight you are actually taking dinner after the dinner don't take anything else no late night uh, snacks no late night coffee tea you can definitely have coffee or tea as long as there is no sugar there is no milk now eight o'clock you had dinner Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock means 12 hours. If you haven't eaten anything for 12 hours, that means 12 hours, almost in the first 8 to 10 hours, your liver and the muscles have been releasing glucose to your cells. After that, the supply of glucose will come down. So that means the moment the supply of glucose comes down, your cells anyway require fuel to generate energy. 
immediately what liver does is that liver will take fat from the body and extract ketones from that and supply to the cells. Ketones actually are excellent fuel because unlike the glucose which just flares up like kerosene, ketones releases energy in a sustainable way. So it is a very good fuel. Now the moment you are cut off from glucose, liver automatically convert your fat in your body into ketones and start supplying to the cells and the cells start producing energy using ketones. Imagine you are having lunch tomorrow, you are skipping breakfast completely and your next meal is going to be 12 noon tomorrow. That means you got 16 hours gap. 16 hours out of which almost 8 to 10 hours your body has been supplied with glucose which is being stored as glycogen in the liver and in the muscles and after that almost 4 to 6 hours you are getting pure ketones as a fuel and as a result what happens your excess fat comes down ketones when it is used as fuel your brain functions with lot of sharpness your alertness goes up your memory goes up your concentration goes up in fact you function at much better peak levels. Now during this fasting, can I eat something? Some people ask me. No, you cannot. But you can drink. You can drink stuff which is having zero calorie. What are they? Coffee, black coffee without milk, without sugar. Black tea without sugar, you know, of course without milk. Green tea, take a lot of green tea because green tea, black coffee, um, black tea, these all these things contain something called polyphenols. Polyphenols, when you supply to your body, your body is empowered to produce a lot of antioxidants, which are very good from an anti-aging perspective. So during this time of intermittent fasting, you can consume these uh, black coffee, black tea and also green tea without sugar and without milk. Now. The question is how do you break that fast? A lot of people commit the mistake of eating fruits or maybe drinking a juice to break the fast thinking that you know for 16 hours my stomach has been empty so let me put something light, something smooth, soft but this is very damaging because 16 hours there has been no glucose supply and all of a sudden if you put fruits into your stomach I can tell you that the glucose level will shoot up your insulin will just hike which is not good for your body. So always when you are breaking your fast, use fat or vegetables, alkaline vegetables. Fat means desi ghee, excellent. You can have unsalted butter. You can uh, go for uh, virgin coconut oil, excellent fat. Virgin coconut oil is brilliant. You can take one or two teaspoons of virgin coconut oil to break that fast. You can actually eat some vegetables. Don't take fruits at that point of time. Give a gap of about 10 to 15 minutes and after that you can eat whatever you want. You can see significant difference in your life. How many times in a week I should be doing this intermittent fasting? It's up to you. I generally do it once, maybe twice in a week. Now that we are into a lockdown period, I would rather recommend that you can even do it for three days in a week and you can see significant difference in your overall health and well-being and energy levels and your confidence level also will shoot up. You can see that happening because I could never even imagine that I can skip meals. After this, my confidence level also has shot up. Now I'm going to give you another major, major advantage at this point of time. This is going to help the society. You know what? At this lockdown period, you know, government is ensuring that there will be enough supply of food. But still, we should be very much careful and cautious. Because we don't know how many days this lockdown period is going to be. Now, just imagine that in a week, three days you are actually doing intermittent fasting. That means you are saving three meals. So, you can save that much of food. That is not just helping you. Suppose 100,000 people in this country are doing intermittent fasting. How much food you can save? which will actually help a lot of other people in the society. They also will get enough food. So the advantage of intermittent fasting on one side is that your personal level, it is going to be a total enhancement at the same time. It is going to be a great service for the society at this point of time. So decide to create a better version of yourself during this period of time. Thank you and see you next time.